Hi, I'm Elizabeth Scherschel, and I'm a junior in Classics, and today on 940 Feet, we'll be talking to Dr. Max Christie in geology. Hey, Dr. Christie. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. I have a few questions for you. Yeah. Uh, so the first one, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Who are you, and what is your area of expertise? Uh, so, my name is Max Christie. I am part of Earth Science and Environmental Change, or formerly Geology. We just changed our name. And I'm a paleontologist and stratigrapher. So, I look at ancient communities of animals and try to understand why they went extinct and how they recover. And this is really important now uh, as we think of modern climate change because lots of animals are going extinct today. That's really cool. What do you find most fascinating about geology? The most fascinating thing about geology for me is how we think about time. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old, to a whole lot of time to wrap your mind around. And uh, when I first started getting into geology, uh, it, it finally made sense, because I came from a biology world where we weren't thinking about what we call deep time. Uh, so when I found that out, I basically switched over from there. That's cool. So at the university, what is your favorite course to teach and why? I really like uh, Geology 143, it's a history of life. Um, and I take everyone in that class through the origins of life to today. And, and it's my favorite because it's just so surprising. Every time I'm in the class, I see students with their jaws open, looking at all of these amazing animals that are now extinct. Did you have a hand in the mammoth statue? Uh, a little bit. I, I uh, consulted with Steve Marshak, who, who worked on that. Um, uh, and made a few changes to the mammoth. Um, but I think really the, the coolest part of the mammoth to me is that the plants they're putting around the mammoth are the same plants that lived in Illinois during the Pleistocene when that mammoth lived. So that little garden is gonna be able to take you back in time. That's really cool. What's a project you're working on right now that you're excited about? I'm really excited about these things called pole balls. They're these 300 million year old plant fossils and you can see cellular level detail on this plants. Um, and we have about half a million specimens here on campus. So they're really exciting and I've uh, really enjoyed working on them. It's awesome. In your opinion, what are the most exciting developments happening in geology right now? Um, something that I'm really excited about and we're only doing here on campus at Illinois is this combination of geology, biology, and medicine. So kidney stones are rocks and your body forms rocks all the time. Um, but in most people, it sort of, those kidney stones go away. Um, what we're trying to do is figure out why they form and how we can dissolve them in your body so that a surgeon doesn't have to go in and take them out. That's really neat. I have some rapid fire questions for you. Sure. Uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give your 18 year old self? Um, I would say chill out a little bit and just relax, um, explore and have some fun with the classes that you're taking. I took paleontology on sort of a whim, and I ended up here. So, um, you know, relax. Good. Um, so campus squirrels, are they overrated or underrated? Ooh. Well, I don't know if they're overrated or underrated, but I do know that they're here because of a geology professor. So in uh, like 1900, there were no squirrels on campus, and they were reintroduced due to a program that was created by a geology professor. So you have geology to thank for those squirrels. I'm sure they're grateful. <laughs> um, describe you by in three words. Okay, so three words. Well, I, I work with students a lot, and um, I really think the students here are extremely hardworking. They're incredibly resourceful, and they're very curious. And those are the things that really stand out to me about Illinois and make me like working here. It's a good combination. Who is another U of I faculty member whose work has captivated you? I'm really interested by uh, Professor Bruce Falk's work. He does this work on kidney stones and is uh, expanding that work now into heart disease. That's cool. What's the best kept secret on campus? Um, I really like the bowling alley at Arcade in the Union. Uh, I don't know how much of a secret that is, but uh, I think it's a lot of fun. It is a cool place. What's your favorite place to eat on campus? I like uh, Bangkok Thai and uh, Champagne. Love Thai food. Hey. What's your favorite season on campus and why? Um, I like the summer. Um, and I know it's hot, but uh, one of the things I like to do in my spare time is sailing. And it's good sailing over here in the summer uh, out on a lake around here. 
And then this is the most important question. Orange or blue? I'm going with orange. Good call. Thank you, Dr. Christie, for talking with us. That's great. And thank you all for joining us today.